Got to start winning games here. The North Division is extremely tight, as you can see, other than Toronto, who is definitely going to be first in the division once they catch up games played-wise. Uh, we got to we have some work to do. How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another Moose Malone Be a Pro video here in January 2020. Uh, you'll remember in the last episode, the one nothing loss against the Crunch. That one actually hurt pretty bad. We're going to wait for this... Uh, standings board to turn back around and there we go okay yeah so you can see the crunch above us now um yeah D Pietro stepped in and lost this game in regulation against the devils and we can't have that anymore that is we can't lose in regulation anymore this division is way too stacked for that coach is putting us in against the senators and uh, they are only two points behind us in the standing so this we have to extend that lead all right here in the simulation screen let's go first period underway one nothing utica gagne gets one past gustafson second period boys it tightened right up again carcone and brandstrom get two past us but hendry keeps us tied let's go all right, boys, these games start to be do or die coming up at this part of the season. This is a must win. Third period underway as Bailey cuts through the neutral zone unopposed. He's to the outside, takes a quick shot. Nice stick save. Rafferty working behind the net. He's pressured, finds Bailey on the breakout. Bailey cuts through, sent over to Lind. Lind back to Bailey, and he tries to take a shot. Nice block. There's the second one. Nice save and a poke check. Bailey recovers again. A series of saves by the goaltender there. Nice play. Abramov over, sent on. Moose Malone with the blocker save, keeping this one tied. And it's turned over as the Senators regain possession. Brandstrom to Labrie. He takes a shot, a high blocker save. And the rebound bounces out of contention. Kanye now for Utica, looking for that goal. He's going to turn it over as he breaks towards his own net. And Gustafson has to cover it up. Gagne back to Joe Levy. He's going to send this one in deep off the glass. And Gadjevich recovers down low. Cuts towards the net. Takes a quick shot. Gustafsson able to catch that one. Brandstrom finds Abramov. Abramov stops up. He's waiting for some reinforcements. He'll drop it back to Brzezinski. Over to Doherty. He takes a shot. Deflected. Huge deflection. And Malone a little bit of trouble with it. But we'll stop that one. It's a one-on-one -on -one here as Lind cuts through the neutral zone. He goes to his backhand on the outside, turns around, finds Evans, and he'll immediately turn that one over in traffic. Balsers has it for the Senators now as he breaks in down low. He'll stop up, finds Doherty over to Balsers. Balsers stick handling over to Brown, tried to go cross crease, and he missed the net, and we'll clean that one up. This is just one of those games that's going to be back and forth all the way to the end. Still a tie game here as Bailey is into the zone. He's trying to make his way around some defensemen. He's pressured, finds Joel Levy over to Evans. One T and it's deflected. Nice save by Gustafson. All right, Utica into the zone. Four minutes left in the third period. He'll cut towards the net, takes the shot off the post, I think. And Gustafson able to clean it up. Oh, some scary moments for him. Gadjevich finds Odette, tried to go for the stretch pass, and he's not going to connect, and that'll be icing with two minutes and 40 seconds left in the third. Minute and a half left in this third period. A nice four check down low, but Labrie is able to pick this one up. Abramov gets his way through the neutral zone, and he'll find Verano. Back to Abramov, a nice save. Two saves in a row for Moose Malone, but it's still loose. Less than a minute here as Redekop breaks in, turned over. It's a two-on-one, and it's going to break down into a one-on-one -on -one here. He'll have to stop up. Takes a weak shot, and he'll miss. Senators in to the outside, finds Brown. He has a lane. He's off the post, and it's loose in the crease. And we're just counting our lucky stars. Oh, boy. Utica with 15 seconds left. He's down in the corner, pushed off the puck by Brandstrom. Maybe one last rush for these Senators. They got robbed by the post, and we're thanking the post there for that one. As he cuts in, a glove save. Five seconds left in the third period. Faceoff won by Utica, and that will force us into overtime. All right, overtime underway. Faceoff won by Utica. That pass finds no one, but icing waved off. Brandstrom pushed against the boards down low, and Brown is going to go for the... Oh, Balser slips a check. He's in on Moose Malone. Here he is to the... Oh, <laughs> I bit so hard on the poke check. And that's going to do it here. Oh, God. Well, that's just uh, one of the ones where you <laughs> put your keep your helmet on all the way back to the locker room. Maybe keep the helmet on all the way to the bus because that is 
embarrassing. Well, in the grand scheme of things, we still got one point out of that, but man, oh man, that was embarrassing. That's probably one of the worst goals against in channel history. I can't think of another one where we were just completely bested other than that one. That one was was pretty bad. But if you take a look, things aren't so bad. Di Pietro stepped in and won the second game of the back-to-back -back in regulation. So that's, that's pretty good. That's what we needed. Um, if we take a look at the standings whenever they come back around, you know what, instead of waiting for that thing to just spin back around, we're gonna go to the standing screen. So uh, we have 48 points in 46 games played. The Syracuse Crunch have a game in hand. They're above us, but tied points wise. And the Senators have 45 points and uh, with 45 games played. That being said, we're starting against the best team in the North Division, the Monsters. Let's go. All right, simulation screen here. Let's take a look. First period underway, 1-0 Cleveland as Mateau gets one past Malone. Second period, and we tied it up. Hulander gets one past Corpusalo, and we're going in for the third. Okay, the number one ranked team in our division versus us. These are must get points in this episode. And uh, let's see what we can do. Tevez slap shot on Corpusalo. Huge power behind that shot. Easy save. Face off one by Utica. Tevez sent that one over. No one there. And Dano is going to get behind our defenseman. He's in on Malone. There's an easy catch for you. And we'll just smother that one. Here's Lind cutting through the neutral zone for Utica. He's going to try and get around that one. Intercepted and... The Monsters will go the other way. Here's Dalp. He finds Schaller. He almost got a shot off. There was the quick one down low. And we had to make a quick save. Here's Audette now. He's to the outside. He'll bounce off the boards and immediately turn over. Bailey gets it, and it's behind him. And it stays out of the net somehow. That was on the goal line. Mateau stick handling his way through. Gets around a defenseman. Takes a shot. Moose Malone with the blocker save. Here's Gadjevic, he's got some speed, but he cuts in. Audette offside. Ganya waiting for reinforcement, sends this one down to Gadjevic. One T on Corpusalo, and he catches that one up on the shoulder. Dano to doubt, back to Dano as the monsters break into our zone. He takes a quick shot, tried to go short side and missed. Still a tie game here as Perron cuts in. He's down low and he'll send it back to Joe Levy. Joe Levy can't find anyone. It bounces off the board, still on side. He takes a shot and Joe Levy puts us up by one. Ollie Joe Levy, third goal of the season. Just a quick little flick of the wrist with the wrist shot. And Corpus Allo was screened, I think. And is able to find a gap behind him. So Utica takes a one goal lead deep here in the third period as this one down low. Nice hit by Redekop to separate him from the puck. It's turned over though to Delp, back to Eglund at the point. Eglund down low, looking for that cross crease. Can't be caught off guard by it like we usually are as he's pushed against the boards. Delp recovers and it's turned over by the defense, nice. A minute 45 left in this third period as Lind finds Evans over to Rafferty, turned over by the goal scorer for Cleveland, and they'll send it out the other way on the counterattack. Here's Cleveland to the outside, pushed against the boards by Rafferty, and he'll recover. Turned over by Bemstrom. Bemstrom to Mateau, and the cross crease ties it up 2-2. Second goal of the night. He's finding himself in all the right areas, and... This is just one of those where he slips a couple checks. He's a bit sneaky. And, uh, you know, I think we were pretty prepared for that. We just couldn't get enough of it. And uh, that'll tie it up. Well, no one said a game against the number one team in your division is going to be easy. And we're finding that out the hard way. A 2-2 tie tied up here in the third period as this one is pushed in but turned over. Seven seconds remaining as the Monsters break it in. He's going to go for a shot. Malone with the save. Left the rebound there. It's back to the point. It's loosely on net and we're going to overtime. All right, trying to shake off the nerves here as we're into the overtime period against the Monsters. A bad play to start, but Evans is there to clean it up. He'll find Bailey to the outside. He cuts towards the center who finds Tevez. Tevez cutting around, looking for an angle. Evans has a shot on net. Nice save by Corpusalo. Cleveland into the zone. Here's Dano down to Schaller. He's behind the net. He'll try and protect the puck. Finds Harrington. Sent to Dano. And that one off a body through Tra. No! We were out of position as it finds his stick and two overtime losses in the division for this episode. That is unfortunate. Two heartbreakers, boys, but it is what it is. If you like NHL 20 content like this and want to see more, 
be sure to hit that subscribe button in the center of your screen. And if you're new here and want to see the whole series from the beginning, feel free to check out my channel for the entire playlist. I'll see you guys in the next video.